Listen, let's 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 talk a little bit about the story that we saw, okay? Because that is obviously one of the selling points of why everyone's so fucking obsessed with this shit, right? And I usually don't like using that word, but I don't care. Because I will admit I'm obsessed with this shit, clearly, right? And no, it's not a problem, okay? Because I don't need to self-admit myself. <laughs> the only the only place I need to self-admit myself to is at that studio, okay? Because if yo, mm, bro, you don't you don't understand. Like I straight, I said in my reaction, I was like, dude, I will voice act for free. I don't care. Like it's not it, at this point, it's not even about the money. For you, it is because we're trying to get you paid. We're trying to get that fucking part two, okay? But the story, right? So after I watched it, I lost count of how many times I've seen this, okay? Out of like around the first. After I watched it the first few times, I started getting more questions. In the comments, we are all really getting some, maybe coming to some answers. And I think we kind of cracked it a little bit, right? Because Brandon, you kind of touched on it already. And this is not even gonna, I'm not gonna say too much because there's like at least two or three more videos that I have planned um, as far as theories go, right? With certain characters. But when it comes down to Vegeta, and his role in this dude now once i say this i'm i, I i'm hoping it's gonna open your mind a little bit like it's gonna like a light bulb's gonna go uh, uh, come off right vegeta is from another timeline and he's saving goku from dying because broly obviously was after him to kill him right and the proof in the pudding is is is, is simply as such Vegeta is paralleling Trunks because it, what the fuck did Trunks do when he came back from his time to all he wanted to do his whole his own purpose was to what deliver a message deliver a warning that the androids was coming and we need and y'all need to prepare and here's the antidote so you don't die right in legend Vegeta, the new king, by the way. He's not the fucking prince. We don't fucking, we don't do that shit over here. We're on our fucking king shit, son. Okay? New King Vegeta comes through for the pride of the Saiyans, for his family, and even you, Kakarot. He fucking, he pulls up to, of course, prevent Goku's imminent death, but to also. Well, I don't know if he meant for Wukong form to come out after that shit, but he was there to let him know that his days was numbered and that he needs to go prepare with him under like like for the war that was coming up. Dude, this is a this this 10 minute shit is already exploring timelines and Vegeta is acting as the trunks. And the fucking crazy part is, you were saying, oh, this is almost like on some early J Dragon Ball Z shit. No. This is on some early Dragon Ball shit. Be yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay? Because I did, a re I did some research. And before I even did my big breakdown video, which is like 55 minutes and surprisingly doing amazingly well, right? Nasir decided to start the story from a Dragon Ball standpoint. Dude. Episode 137 of Dragon Ball is literally where Goku fights Chi Chi in the world tournament. That whole scenario, that whole scene fucking happens. Obviously up to the point where Broly shows up, right? But like the whole the whole the whole thing with like, oh, Goku doesn't remember who she is. Like, you promised you'd marry me, all that shit. That's that That's was Dragon Ball. Yes, that is Dragon Ball. But in this fucking story, this legendary tale. Okay, is reimagining so many things in one. And when you dig deep, you realize, bro, how the fuck was he able to co like to to uh to make all this shit exist with each other and it made sense. Right? Because the idea that when this shit starts, it starts off in another future timeline. It said 30xx AF. And we're not talking Dragon Ball AF. AF, we are we, the community after frieza so in that time 
in that time, it is believed among the fans that, that, that in that point in the story, wherever that taken place, they fucking defeated him already. And the Saiyans survived. After Frieza. After Frieza, bro. Do you... Uh, look that, at this yo, man. But, I got him. I got him. He's in. He's in. Let's go. Let's go. Where's Nasir? Where is Nasir? Nah, but bro... But Raise bro, your tears. Calm down. Nah, bro. Because wait, I'm still trying to, wait, I'm still trying to, wait, 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 wait. I'm still wait, trying wait. to figure out where the actual Vegeta, the timeline where this Goku is in at. If it's after Frieza. Well, that dude, but that see, that's why it's just so interesting because it's just like it. What what could possibly happen? What is the war? Who are they trying to fight? Who are they trying to prevent themselves <laughs> after? Did Frieza send Broly? Where's Broly where's coming Frieza? from? Yo, where's Frieza? Yo, <laughs> see this 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 right here is what I'm talking about because here li listen listen to the context of our voices. Okay, when we ask, when we say, where's Frieza here, we're excited because we don't know what the fuck happened. When we, when we ask that shit in Super, we're like, where is Frieza? Like, we're just fucking waiting for this motherfucker because they keep name dropping, name dropping. Down. But now it's like, yo, the mystery. Does AF, is AF after Frieza? The Sands are Dude, there. Dude, that, that shit, that shit alone is just so crazy to think about. That's funny. That's Dude, it's, we're. Dude, this is the Legend of Dragon Ball Tale is not just a 10 minute film. This is now currently a lifestyle. This is a choice, a path, okay, <laughs> to take down. Because I truly firmly believe that this, like, here, here's the thing, right? And, 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 and it helps with everything. Because here's the thing it's not like if we put all this emotion and all this, like, energy and hype towards legend we're just gonna completely ditch fucking the source material unfortunately that can't happen it's just it just can't we're stuck okay but the re and, and, and obviously the reason why is because well that's you know that's this is the main shit but the fact that legend exists is just like okay well at least we have a legend right any it's a refresher super can be as so so fucking far head ass as they want at that point and, I, and we'll we'll come on the full power podcast man we'll we'll review that shit all right kai so uh chapter uh uh, three thousand. Uh, Go Goku. Uh, he 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 fucking went. Uh, Super Saiyan eleven. Um, Ultra twenty fucking instinct. Um, but but the fans are still saying that Gamma ten. All right, could possibly be stronger than that. But hold on. But wait. But see. But then. But see. Gohan. Okay, oh, he grew oh. two tails. Okay, and and his potential has gone so far beyond belief. But guess what? He hasn't trained in like in twenty fucking years. <laughs> so, but hey, man. But hey, hey, it happened. You know, it's it is what it is. The fans, you'll let us know in the comments. Yeah, but the Gohan heads forgot that Goku didn't transform into All Fight yet. <laughs> fucking all oh fight and like all that all, the most head ass shit could happen and honestly i wouldn't even care i would cover it because at least we have legend. at least we <laughs> fucking have legend bro that is the takeaway that is the complete and utter fucking takeaway i but we're not going to if you don't turn up them prices <laughs> nasir please yeah, please bro. Yeah, bro. please like, yeah. dude, from the conversation that I had with him so far, I will say this dude, it seems like a really fucking cool guy. Okay. And I could already get that vibe off of him just with his, his, his exit video or exit, the, the, the outro that he did in, in the, in the movie. Oh, oh, that shit was funny. Yeah. Right. right? Like yeah. he, 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 he already seemed like a cool dude. But when he, when he actually answered my, um, my message that I sent to him. I was like, yo, this guy's legit. Like, he he seems like he's cool peoples. And he actually said he wants to, like, he just wants to, like, shoot the shit. I'm like, oh, we, we can shoot the shit. But first, I, I'm going to fucking pray. I got to praise you first, okay? I got to fucking remind. I'm like, listen, man, if we're going to be friends, okay? I'm going to be real. I keep it real with all my friends, okay? Raise your fucking tears, please. Oh, that's that good shit.